Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make animations with the Digger in SolidWorks Composer. Creating animations with the Digger in SolidWorks Composer is very very easy and can add a whole nother level of detail and professionalism to them. So I've created a real rough example here to show you some of the features we can take advantage of with the Digger. Now I've got my winch assembly exploding and then I'll have my Digger just transition in nice and smooth and then back out. I can also have the Digger move along my exploded view here and change its target dynamically. Alright, so those are two things that can really help add a little bit of detail and professionalism to your animations. And Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So to start, let me just delete all my keyframes so we can start fresh. And then I'm going to drag in my exploded view that I created before. Now creating animations with a digger is just the same as creating animations normally in Composer. All we're going to be doing is creating digger keys, which are the same as keyframes for our normal animations, which are going to define the different actions of our digger in our animation. So maybe we want to start by having our digger come into view. So I've got my timeline here at one second. I'm just going to press the space bar and bring the digger in. And now I'm going to set a digger key. If I look at the drop down here, I can turn on digger auto keys mode, which works just like auto keys, and it'll set my digger keys. Um, as I make different actions and animations, but I'm just going to do this manually so we can really highlight what's going on. So I've again made my digger key and brought my digger into view, but if I play my animation right now, it's going to look really rough. It just pops into view there abruptly and doesn't look very smooth. To get a nice transition, let me bring the timeline back to half a second, and I'm going to control select my digger key, which is going to copy and paste it and I'm going to bring it back to half a second. Now if I shrink my digger size down, I'm going to bring it to R equals 1, and I update my digger key. Now if I play my animation from the beginning, it transitions in nice and smooth, just growing and uh, appearing. It, transition in, it transitions in nice and smoothly and just grows into view, which looks a lot better than just popping in abruptly. Another thing we can do is have our digger's target move around dynamically in our animation. To do this, I'm going to just drag my timeline out here to 6 seconds. And now what I'm going to do is just change the digger's center of interest to the end here. What this, what this will do as we create this animation is move my initial point of reference from the beginning of my exploded view up here down to the other end over here. So if I create a digger key and now play my animation from the beginning. Our digger transitions into view and then moves along our exploded view. Finally we're probably going to want our digger to get out of the way or um, leave our animation. So all we're going to do is the reverse what we did to bring it in. I'm going to bring the timeline out to six and a half seconds and now I'm going to shrink my digger back down to R equals one. If I create a digger key here, what will happen is my uh, digger will transition and shrink, but it won't quite disappear. So all I need to do is go one more step, tell my digger key to disappear, and then finally set another digger key. And now if I play my animation back from the beginning, our digger transitions into view, moves along our exploded view, and then transitions out of sight. Alright guys, I hope this video has helped you make animations with the Digger and SolidWorks Composer. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure you post them on the discussion page of the SolidWorks Composer YouTube channel. Thanks a lot guys for watching.